We'll walk around. I wanna see some tigers. Walk around. I wanna see some tigers and some peas. I really wanna hear some squeaks. Walk round the compound. I know, I know. They're taking so long. What's on the what's on the menu for this evening? Horse and chicken. Horse and chicken. Is that for Cassie? Are you gonna be getting some horse and chicken? But Gloria's gotta cut it up into little bitty pieces because Cassie's an old lady. Basically need to puree her food. And and for her for her for her old teeth and old jaws and old bones. All right. The boy. Hey, how are you? How are you? You're looking at me with uh, ill intent, not healthy intent. Not, uh, in, not, not, hey, I don't know, I'm feeling, I think I might be coming down with something intent, or I'm feeling maybe a bit under the weather intent. I don't know, maybe it's allergies intent. No, 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 it is straight up ill. Ill intent. Your intent is ill. That is why you're, that's, but you can't have will without the ill. Straight up ill in it. He's willing it. Oh, that's dumb. Why would you do that? No one likes that. No one's interested. No one's interested in this, in this nonsense that you've got going on, Will. Look at him. Look at him. He can't even figure out which end is up. Babies can figure out which, end, which way is up, Will. And you can't. I don't get it. You need to go back to school, to direction school. Hmm. Let me know when you get a passing grade. Hello all you big cat lovers out there, it's me Derek again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hi, hello, we are here doing some casting, some cast castings. Malika is up there. Oh, that's her butt. That's her butt. Uh, but. Ding ding. Ding ding. Alright. Now. Now. For you. Now for you. Oh, you know, I'm happy I I decided to restart uh, filming because Noe was up over there. I was, I had filmed some stuff. Sometimes I'll do like two, three, four takes. And it really is just kind of priming myself to just like, uh, just start saying stuff that just, not even is good, but just kind of <laughs> feels right in her flows. Um... <laughs> There's times where I'll start and I'm like, look at the door, there's a bob, there's a bobcat. And I'm like, that's dumb. And then I'll I'll just I'll just hit the stop button. I'll hit the record button. I'm like, oh he's Robert. He's Roberts and Roberts. And I'm like, that's dumb too. Hit the stop button. Hit the record button. Hello, this I am with a Bob. No. <laughs> just keep doing that. I'll do it like three, four, five times. 
And then it'll be like, hey, what's up? We're here and this guy over, he's a bobcat. Let's just keep her moving. And then I, I just go from there. It, it has, there's no rhyme or reason or semblance of, sen of sense. Maybe it's an obsessive compulsive thing where it's like, no, no, no. I have to lock and unlock the door 17 times until it feels right. <laughs> Once it feels right, then I can go and pay my bills down at the down at the cell phone store <laughs> hi boys hi boys hello Luca where's your brother going Jacob where are you going Jacob Jacob what did we do what did we say what did we do to insult you insult I prefer in uh, oregano. You thought I was gonna say pepper, didn't you? But I didn't. I try to, I, I mix it up. I mix it up. Like I'm, I'm baker. I'm a, I'm a cast baker. I'm whipping up cast. I'm baking up cast batter. Watch out. Preheat that oven 372 degrees. Bless you. Uh, we've been doing a, a lot of uh, just kind of, I guess you could call it spring cleaning, even though it's like technically not spring, but the weather's nice enough and it's just been, it's like, hey, let's, let's, this is a great time where we can go around and do a lot of, uh, of periodic, like large scale kind of maintenance type tasks around the compound. Ruby, Ruby Roo. Hmm. But like a lot of like cleaning up, uh, cleaning up weeds and reeds from the previous season. Because every spring and summer, every spring and summer, every spring and summer, every spring and summer, you get just weeds and reeds, different bushes that pop up. And throughout the, the season, throughout the rainy times, some of those bushes, now last year, we didn't get a lot of rain, but some of the rainier years, you'll get those bushes and they get up like close to the tops of the, of the enclosures and it just takes the one year. But invariably those bushes, they, they, they dry out and they die, they go away. But they leave old crusty reeds. Old crusty, crusty reeds. That's the pee face right there. That's Luca's pee face. That's I'm concentrating on pee peeing face. <laughs> Good boy. And it's a lot. It's a lot to, to like, you'll have uh, weeds and reeds, you'll have a lot of vines. So now is a good time to kind of start, you know, trying to tear stuff like that out. A lot of times um, when you have trees that lose leaves, you can actually kind of start to see a little bit better about like, oh, well, this part needs to be fixed up. And then a lot of times invariably whenever you're kind of taking off the weeds and the reeds, it gives you an idea of like where on the fence you may need to put some extra bolts, extra wires. which that's an ongoing thing. That's an ongoing thing. Just because it's metal don't mean that it just lasts forever. Metal gets weathered. It corrodes, it fades.
So then you gotta like, okay, you know, like, bolt, bolt, bolt. Like these ones are, are, are in good shape, but then sometimes like these things themselves, they'll start to, they'll start to get, like they get old, they get oxidized and they, they start to kind of weaken. So then you have to like say like, oh, and then what you do is you get a new one, you clamp it on. Now before it, it busts, but you get a new one, clamp it on, and then you just take the old one out. Hi Ruby, hi baby, hi sugar pie, I love you. I wish that we had a better relationship. Okay, well. Not now. Not now. Uh, but yeah, I have to go through and you got you got these wires. So these these wires that help to keep the fence attached to the poles, which those have to be like we put them periodically, you know, like and then you have to sit there and then expand that and extrapolate that to every enclosure. <laughs> Yeah, all of it, all of it, every bit of it. I don't know if you've noticed, we've got a lot. We've got a lot of fence line, we've got a lot of pipe. Got a lot of chain link, a lot of wires. Oh, you thought that this was just a webcast about tigers. I'm really a a fence and fence fitting enthusiast who just so happens to spend an inordinate amount of time next to tigers. You have to realize whenever I'm filming, I'm not filming, I'm, I'm really getting a good shot of the chain link. It just so happens that there's a tiger there, just whatever, it's just how that works. But the, look at this chain link, isn't it, isn't it beautiful? Isn't that a marvel of just modern engineering? Who cares about the tiger? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I'm talking to you. This, but this fence, though. Winter grass. The winter grass. It's vine. That stuff. Melissa says hi. Hello. Hello. All right. Nice. There you go. Cool. Cool. All right. Yeah. Yeah. But we spent a lot of time doing some of those, like, more... Uh, those, those kind of big, big tasks, big cleans, big maintenance, maintenances. We've been doing a lot of that the last few days. Uh, Heidi's been making a lot of like, just different to-do lists. To-do lists for staff members and to-do lists for volunteers, to-do lists for Derek to don't lists for Derek to please for the love of God <laughs> why are why can't you be normal lists oh no no that's just those are the lists that I just make for myself <laughs> that's my internal dialogue <laughs> lists Orange dots down there. Orange dots. They think they're so cool. 
just a couple of orange dots down there who think that they're just they just know all sorts of stuff bunch of smarty pants orange dots over there wow oh boy oh boy oh boy <laughs> oh go oh, oh. Ah. so it's like I legitimately get excited for just I mean I don't know like when you ostensibly it's like when you break it down if there was like a court transcript it's like and then uh can you uh please explain for the the jury what happened next well they the two cats touched paws how did that make you feel I felt excited and alive <laughs> I felt a I felt a renewed sense of purpose when I saw that. It's so like it is. I take it. I I go back. I literally I go back to like the first like couple of weeks, maybe like the within the first month of me being here, working at this facility, and like not quite getting the vibe. But like still like being like I wanted to be a part of everything, but I I still I I was I didn't quite get. I didn't quite get it just yet. And um, I just remember it was over here somewhere. It was somewhere in the mids, maybe like around Fire's enclosure, where Fire currently is. I can't remember. <sighs> That's. Is that Flash and Lily? Oh my gosh, long time ago. Either way, there was a cat and they were doing something just kind of silly. Maybe with like a piece of cardboard or something. It was just, it was like super simple. And they were just like rolling on the back. And they were just kind of like, tick, 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 tick. and they were just doing something. And it was like Heidi. And there was like other people, some of the volunteers, maybe like Lisa and JD. But there was like multiple people. And they were all, all watching the cat do something mildly cute. And everyone was just going like, oh my gosh, oh Oh, oh my God! Look, 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 look! <laughs> and I remember, I remember, like, kind of looking to my right and to my left, and I'm just like, these people are fucking nuts. <laughs> like, it's just a cat. I mean, sure, kind of cute, but cat with the, I don't know. They're just a cat. Whatever. Like, that's that's not that impressive. Fast forward, like a month or two. Sure as heck. Sure as heck. I'm just. <laughs> I, I see the cats do something. They grab a stuffed animal. I'm like, Woo! Woo! look, 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 look. <laughs> Same thing. I my and my transformation was complete. <laughs> so anyway, all right. These are these are mid cats. These don't you don't get to see them until the next cast. You don't be hey, avert your uh, public. I just need you to okay, right here. This is a cat that you're not supposed to look at in this cast. So make sure that you're aware that you ain't supposed to look at her. Because she's not until for the next one. Ooh, did you just fart? I think she just farted. I literally think she just farted. It was either that or she stepped on some leaves in a weird way that just kind of made a sound. Which I don't think leaves make that sound. Alright. Thanks for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dorbus Award in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all of your big cat goodness. And if you want to learn more about the facility around me, you can always visit the website carerescuetexas.com for more information. You keep them tigers fed. Big shout out to the extra fancy patrons. I see you. You are so fancy. And thank you so much for your continued support. And we'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye. Like and subscribe for more big cat content.